Welcome to the Valdez Family Homestead. Thank you so much for being here today. If you are new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're coming out with some great content here for you guys to enjoy. Hopefully some of it can help you out. Also go ahead and give us a thumbs up. It helps us out, get us up there in the algorithm. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. So some pretty bad news here on the homestead. I mean, and from time to time you will go through things. You know, things do happen and it's okay. Life moves on. It depends on how you pick yourself back up and keep on going that matters. So we had several things happen here on the homestead. We weren't expecting a frost to roll through here first and foremost. And so we were unprepared for this frost. We knew it was coming a couple of days before so we tried anything and everything to save some of our things here on the homestead. You know, as far as like our vegetables and grapes and other plants we have here. So there's really no way to prepare, you know, if, if a frost happens, sometimes it's gonna take out some of your crops. But before we get in to going over there to show you a little bit of our sadness here on the homestead, we also got strong winds a few days prior to having that frost. And so that is one thing we were worried about with this new greenhouse. This front panel right here was gone. Just we woke up one day, the, the day after um, that night we had real strong winds and this panel was gone. Nowhere in sight, of course these panels are very light, cheap, and so it could have been anywhere. And we don't know, it could have gone in the middle of the night. So. We had to purchase another one. I don't know if you can tell the difference in paneling here. So if you see these lines on the one that, that came with the greenhouse, they are thinner um, and this is cheaper right here. It's very, it's much more thin. And um, if you can tell the difference on these, these lines are a little bit thicker that run through here. You can complete, I mean, you can tell the difference side by side there. And that is the major thing we were worried about is that happening to us because we do have very strong winds here and even some of the strongest things can still get taken down by these winds. And I had to purchase that panel. If you haven't watched the video of me talking about this greenhouse, go check that out. Uh, but just to give you a little backstory and a little insight, I wasn't too happy with this greenhouse. It was a $340 greenhouse, turned out to be more than $500 after all of the work I had to put into it. So now, we woke up to find our panel missing, and I was like, we're gonna have to get that replaced because we knew the frost was coming. We wanted to protect the veggies we have growing here in the greenhouse. You know, we precede um, a lot of our stuff, and so we wanted to protect the stuff in the greenhouse. And so I needed to replace this right away. Not only that, we have that monster right there. And he tends to like to tear up things and go through the dirt. And so luckily we have a little fencing area around here where he can stay behind there. As you can see, he's a little upset that he's not out here with me right now. It's okay, Apollo. I'll let you out here in a little bit. And so we were worried about our stuff not being protected by the frost in here. We were also worried about Apollo coming in here, doing a little bit of exploring, and messing up more things in the greenhouse. So I had to get that replaced right away. So ran out, went to Home Depot. These panels are eight foot panels that they sell you, and they will run you $50. And let me mind you that that is a very cheap material that is used there. And to have to spend another $50 on already greenhouse that I had to put some extra money into kind of hurt a little bit but it's okay it's replaced now I'm happy uh, the door I'm gonna have to fix the wind kind of did pull it out a little bit and so I have to fix that but everything was protected in here and uh, I'm glad to say the frost did not affect these things but what the frost did affect was 
partly things over here. Like I said, we didn't, we came unprepared. Uh, my wife had put some, some sheets over it to try to protect it from the frost, but we came out the next morning and the frost still had taken it over. And so I'm not sure how things are gonna turn out because it's not looking good for most of our crops that we already had growing here. And it's a sad sight, but if we have to, we'll come back on top. We'll just have to replant things and uh, hope for the best. Be looking out for the frost. Uh, when we planted these was supposed to be the perfect time, but the weather's so crazy in the world right now. As you can see, like in California, they got snow and stuff like that. And so it's just thrown off everywhere. And the time we planted these in our area was supposed to be the best time. Like right now, it's still even cold. It's roughly about 45 degrees, but with the wind chill, it's like 30, six or so so it's still rough it's cold here i just want to show you some of the damage to our crops here and so when we came out that morning uh this whole bed here was just frosted over it was it was a horrible sight um here's some of our tomato plants you can see they they don't look so good and i'm hoping they're still alive we're gonna see if they pull through but if not um, we're gonna have to start from square one. Uh, those are some of our onion plants back there. They don't look too hot either, uh, but we're gonna see where we're at. That one looks the worst. And this is our jalapeno plant. Um, it, it looks completely dead to me, but we're gonna see how that turns out as well. I'm hoping the ones we're growing over here um, so we have we have lettuce and our green beans and our summer squash growing over here and it's barely starting to sprout this is the lettuce right here you can see it's barely coming out it doesn't look affected so I'm hoping that those survived the frost um, so th those are coming coming in fairly nicely and then we have some more onions planted directly into the ground over here that aren't looking the greatest. Um, and then over here we have more of our tomato plants. These look a little bit better than those over there. Um, and then our potatoes haven't came, haven't sprouted yet. So uh, we have yet to see those come out of the ground. But the tomato plants, the tomato plants here look much better healthier and better than those over there especially this back one it looks uh it looks good to go all these back here look great our nectarine trees are fine the flowers actually that are, sp are are starting to come out on those look great as well so the frost did not get those sadly i'm hoping our grapes are okay Grapes do come back year-round, but since these were so young, I'm afraid they, they could be dead, but we'll just have to wait and see. It's so terrible to see them like this. Kind of breaks my heart. We were seeing them come up so big, but if we have to start over, we have to start over, but here they are. These look the worst. You can see them there see them there i'm thinking the grapes possibly didn't survive um the reason i'm thinking that is the stem that's coming up from the ground is pretty like if you've ever seen an old tree when it's dried out uh, like it's when it's completely dried out you can just snap it if it's skinny enough that's how the grapes look right now so i'm a little worried concerned about those the elderberry luckily we planted them inside that bigger uh, planting pot we were able to put those in the greenhouse before this hit so they should be safe as well but it's sad you do go through things like this on the homestead from time to time you never know mother nature what it's gonna do 
As I had stated, it's how you take these things and move forward. We're gonna see how these plants do in a few days and then go from there. If not, we're gonna have to, they said start from square one, but that's okay because we've got spring ahead of us. And we've got all of summer and so uh, we've got we got a quite a bit of time to still prepare and, um, and see if there's any frost. Of course, we're gonna hold off for now just to make sure there's no more frost coming through the area. Probably wait till April now or so if we have to replant any of these things. So about mid to early April, we will probably replant some of these things if, if need to. Um, so just wanted to give you guys an update on that and some of the things we went through here on the homestead. In the past few days, um, and the chickens, they're doing great as well. They're a little upset with me because they're not able to come outside. They enjoyed me bringing them outside from, you know, every day bringing them out here. And like, no girls, it's too cold outside. There will be no going outside for a while. Um, you guys, act, they might actually get all their feathers before it starts to warm up here. But I do think we are getting warmer days here in the near future. But I, I thank you guys for joining me here today. We'll be bringing some great content here to you soon, so be sure you're subscribed. Once again, thank you for joining me here on the Valdez Family Homestead. And until the next one, see you guys later.